size, and then they kill them. It's like, oof. What, what was it? I mean, they're like a, it's like they're a human, or not human, a, a living organism that's, that's a battery. It's like a power. Yeah. All right. What is up guys, Luis here, I'm back, it's officially the new year, it's 2017 guys, new year, new me, no guys, I'm not that kind of person, but I do want to talk about last year in the review, and uh, this year that's going to happen, what's going to happen, what do I have in mind, and well, first of all, before I get ahead of myself, happy new year guys, thanks for coming into my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and thank you for the support. Now, I went ahead and um, posted an Instagram picture quite like a week ago, and uh, hoping that somebody would help me out, throw me some questions for this video. I officially want to make my first Q&A video, and uh, it turns out that I'm not as popular as I thought I was. I asked a question, and all I got was one small imagey i asked for help and that's all i got guys it, it sucks but hey we gotta start somewhere right i it didn't bother me and if you guys liked the picture i had 43 likes thank you but um yeah i was asking for some help i, I wanted to do my first official q a video and i wanted to talk about i wanted to do it bleh, sorry guys i wanted it to be related to the new year that that's come that's begun that started i wanted to talk about last year 2016 what happened and what i felt like it was so either way nobody asked me any questions but i went ahead and, and made three four questions um to uh talk about with you guys during this video so it's sort of a q a it's just that the questions are asked by me i know sad first of all 20 uh, i mean new year's eve this whole New Year celebration, uh, it's nothing big for me. It's a meme that went around and I was like, man, that's how I felt all this time. I'm not out there um, celebrating anything, but the fact that I'm still with my parents, I'm still with my family, I'm still with my brothers, my sisters, I still have them all in my life. So I feel blessed. That's all I celebrate at that point, you know, having the, 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 the privilege or the, the, the moment, you know, the moment of still having my entire family with me. Nothing happened. We didn't lose anybody throughout the year 2016 or before that. And for that, I'm grateful. For that, I will stand outside with my family, hug them at 12 a.m. and celebrate with them. But I don't see it as a, okay, reset. We messed up this past year. Fix it this year. No, because we could have easily done that two days before New Year's Eve if we were really really dedicated into what we wanted to do and um or anything like that guys that's how i feel that's what the way i look at new year's eve uh or new year's i'm not celebrating a, a new beginning or anything like that <laughs> i think it's kind of um i don't want to insult anybody i don't want to affect anybody's emotions but it's not a way that it's not a healthy way to look at things because it shouldn't be like that we shouldn't be waiting on mondays Four Mondays to start a diet. We shouldn't be waiting for the new year to start uh, losing weight or uh, start focusing on our businesses more and executing more. Execution is a key word for this video, guys, because my first question that I asked myself is, what did 2016 bring me? I honestly, honestly feel that 2016 for me was a year of ideas. I had so many ideas. A great man named Gary Vaynerchuk talks about how any idea without an execution it's meaningless it's worthless it's not worth anything it doesn't matter if you have an idea and somebody else takes it and actually makes something with it i mean you didn't execute you didn't put in the work i had so many ideas to do so, so much work to do that i wanted to do and i just never got around to it and honestly guys i tend to do that a lot even with uh, with uh school i tend to leave things at till last minute at times sometimes like my bigger projects i tend to leave them to the last minute and i still like i push and push and push and i feel like i did that last year so much with this channel 
I had so much planned guys I wanted to do Facebook live I wanted to do informational Facebook live sessions opposed to like where YouTube you guys would have uh, the opportunity to follow me around uh, sort of like a daily vlog right and um I didn't do it I never got to it I would start and and something would get in the way some thought would get in the way uh, some little pain would get in the way and, and that's what I feel 2016 was all about a year of ideas and me lacking the execution and it sucks it's really a cold hard truth but that's the only way I'm gonna learn is by telling myself the actual truth um, my sister told me the same she woke me up on Sunday and she's like what are you talking about executions uh, you haven't done anything and I was like man it's the first day I'm so lazy it was so cold I didn't put any attention to it right but that's what I want for this year to change I want my executions to be much much better towards all of my ideas I want my focus to be on this channel and in school and that's what I wanted to do last year I wanted to have focus for both but I ended up just focusing on school and then towards the end of the year kind of not focusing on anything and just fucking working and um, pretty much working out guys uh, so that's what I feel 2016 was outside of the gym guys all right so the second question guys is pretty much the same thing with 2016 so what did I achieve what did I actually achieve I went through three four semesters of school winter spring summer fall I passed everything except for one class on my fall semester which sucked honestly I wasn't planning to fail any classes but that class just became a drag guys uh, it became really hard to like the teacher and I never thought I was gonna be those that kind of student where like Man, I don't like this teacher I, I hadn't had that experience where um, at least as of lately and it happened with this guy this guy really gave me no um, he, he gave me no room to work with but really at the beginning right from the get-go guys I couldn't get the book I wasn't working it I didn't have any money at the moment my financial aid was taking a long time to get to me and um, he didn't get he didn't give me a break I told him I'll do the homework I want on a piece of paper he said no I want it online I was like how can I do it online I have no access to online and, and that relationship just worsened throughout the year any mistake any small thing uh, I feel like during my test like he had a lot of like some person in my class got the right answers and I got the right answer too yet he gave it wrong to me and when I approached him about it he just wouldn't give in and he gave me the wrong answer I guess right from the get-go he pinpointed me to make me an example for the class or something I, I, I was hoping to turn things around later as the semester progressed, but you know, and that kind of sucked. So yeah, guys, I, I feel like for 2016, school was the big thing, the biggest thing that I've achieved. It's one step closer to transferring out. And I also, um, for my kinesiology classes, what I had in mind of going in and majoring was simply getting a degree with uh, kinesiology focused on fitness but I took my first kinesiology 101 class which takes you through the basics and shows you the careers that are within this field and they talked a lot about um, physical therapy and I never looked at it I never thought about physical therapy as, as something to follow up until that point uh, I feel like I've, I'm certified I was certified by NASM currently my certification is suspended or um, I need to renew it guys I need to renew my certification and um, my uh, my idea was just get a degree with uh, personal training or fitness and, and do that and now I have a completely a different idea which is it's the same beginning so there's not I'm not gonna have to restart everything again and reset so that's really good so I'm, I'm really looking into how what I have to do and what schools are better to follow my physical therapy um, journey and I, and I think it helps I think it really really helps like I got I've talked about my injuries so much, guys. I don't have any serious injuries, but I don't want to get to that point, guys, where I'm just having serious injury after serious injury. But these small injuries are a sign. They're, they have to be a sign. They, may, they affect my, my training. So physical therapy will really help me out. It'll, uh, I think it'll help me out in the long run. Now for 2017, guys. What do I plan to do on 2017? 
And I told you guys right at the beginning, my execution, guys. I don't want to be an idea, man. I don't want to be just a person who has plenty of ideas, plenty of dreams, and, and never acted upon towards them. I think it was Eric Thomas that once said, uh, picture yourself laying in your deathbed and the ghosts of your dreams come towards you and they tell you. It was because of you that uh, we didn't do it. You were our hope. We didn't make it. And uh, I think he said it was one of the scariest things he had ever thought. And, my God, man, that's a thought that really, like, hit me at the time. And, and it still tends to hit me from time to time when I'm just sitting and wondering uh, what's going on with life, right? And it, it's a scary thing. But in all truth, it, only we could dictate where we go with our lives, guys. It doesn't matter where we started. We've seen uh, stories about the worst of the worst starting uh, for example, I think today that one of the greatest examples of you into MMA, Conor McGregor, guys, he used to be welfare. He used to, he used to get welfare. Uh, he could barely eat. He could barely feed his, him and his lady. Uh, and today he's 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 just the mega star for the UFC. And that equates to um, him having a lot of money and being more happy, of course. I mean, I've always talked about how money uh, isn't the thing to look after for but it, it is a necessity guys so yeah guys for 2017 i really want to execute on every idea uh, i don't want to just think about it uh, perhaps write it down or something and, and come back to it and actually get it done i really want to get things done this year i don't want it to be another year full of ideas um uh, i want to get everything rolling so yeah, that's just my main idea for this year is getting shit done, guys. Actually doing things, actually grabbing my camera and taking it with me. No more, oh, what if this uh, person t uh, looks at me? What if somebody tries to jump me for my camera? Uh, I just gotta get rid of those feelings, guys, and actually do. That's what I plan on doing for 2017 outside of the gym, guys. It's actually executing and, um, doing work actually hustling and not just talking about it and having new ideas every day and that's about it guys i think it was a good three questions three four questions i don't know yeah it was three guys it was what happened 2016 what did i achieve and what i planned for 2017 so let's do this together guys uh this channel i want to be open with you guys i want to get to talk to you guys more uh to the old and the newer subscribers whoever comes in i really want to do this i, I want to have more q a sessions and it's cool i don't mind um asking for help and and not getting any at all not getting any questions uh, i'm just gonna keep doing this i hope you guys like this it is kind of weird that i asked myself the questions and i already knew the answers but um it's uh well i didn't really know the answer i had to like think about them but yeah, guys, uh, I'll keep doing this maybe once a month, probably the Q&A's until it becomes relevant and people actually want to know more stuff about me. Uh, anyways, guys, I honestly, honestly, I am thankful for your support. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's 50, 500, 500,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate your support. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't not. Nah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, leave down a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace.